Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today we'll be taking you through HTML responsive web design. Adding responsiveness to a web page is of significant use because it helps us in making a web page more interactive to the user. In this video, we'll see how we can do it with the help of HTML and CSS. So before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, Make sure to subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates on programming videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. Responsiveness of a web page may refer to different scenarios. Let's go through the meaning of responsiveness first. In web designing, adding responsiveness has two different meanings. One is done with the help of JavaScript. Whenever we go through a website and we see something happens on a button click, it refers to responsiveness as well. We use events for it, right? Let's suppose we go through an e-commerce website and try to purchase a product whenever we click on the buy now button. Something happens, right? It either takes us to a different web page or opens any kind of pop-up regarding the same. This phenomena is called the responsiveness of a web page and we use JavaScript for that. This was for your reference that if someone says responsiveness, then you should not get confused. We are not going to discuss it in today's video. Responsiveness in HTML means creating a layout in such a way that it will be adjusted automatically to different screen sizes and viewports. Let's take an example here to make it easier for you guys. Let's say we have a website opened on a desktop. What we want to do is we want to open the same website on a mobile device as well. But at the same time, we want all the content to adjust automatically according to the mobile screen. In that case, we need to design a website in such a way that it automatically adjusts itself to such devices. We can achieve this task using two different methods. We can use CSS media queries or we can do it with the help of HTML and basic CSS as well. We'll be discussing the later method in this video, which is the HTML method. And in the upcoming video, we'll discuss media queries as well. So don't worry about it, guys. Let's move on and start using HTML to make the content of a web page responsive to different device screens. If getting your learning started is half the battle, what if you could do that for free? Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. For reference, Let's add an image to our browser first. So what we'll do is we'll move to the body section of our HTML document and we'll write here IMG. So we are going to add an image over here. So let's write here source. The image is present inside the images folder. And let's say we are using space.png. Now we need the alt attribute as well. So let's say we are writing over here alt and space. Fine. Now save the program. And you can see here that we have an image present on the browser. The image size is larger here, right? Let me zoom in a bit for you. So you can see this is an image. So you can see the size is quite big according to a browser. Now, we want this image to adjust itself accordingly if we reduce the size of a window. For this, we need to make some changes to this picture. So what we'll do is we'll add a class here first. So let's say we are using class as responsive fine so here we have a class now we'll make certain style changes in this image so we'll use the style tag now inside it we are going to access our image so we have a class as responsive and inside here we'll write width width is going to be 100 percent and let's say the height height is going to be auto fine Save the program and you can see here the image adjusts itself according to our window size. So if we increase the size of our browser, you can see this whole image over here. The width of this image is 100% of the screen and the height is automatic. Fine. Now, the moment we decrease the size of this window or we can say if we increase the size, the image is adjusting itself accordingly, right? On increasing or decreasing the size of our window, the image is adjusting. Fine. We don't need anything else to make it look more responsive. Fine. Another thing we can do here is we can use the max width and min width properties to make an image responsive to the window. So what we can do here is we can write here 
inside this min width min width we are going to write here as 500 pixels and we are going to define max width here as well max width is going to be let's say 1000 pixels save the program now and you can see the image size is 1000 pixel over here go to inspect element and here you can see if you take your cursor over here on the image source button you can see the rendered size is 1000 into 469 pixels now try decreasing the size of this image so you can see it over here we have this size of our window now take your cursor over here you can see the rendered size is 719 pixels now decrease the size completely now you can see the rendered size is 500 pixels the image is not going below 500 pixels in this case fine it means that the image will adjust itself down to 500 pixels only fine now let's write here 400 pixels for your reference save the program now decrease the size of this window so it's at the lowest and take your cursor over here you can see the rendered size is 423 pixels it can't go below that because this is the maximum size we can go with a browser window fine so this is how we can make an image responsive to the window screen using html and basic css we are not using any advanced css for making an image responsive as of now i hope you guys got it we are also going to use css media queries they are also simple but not basic though so we'll go through them in the next video so that's all for this video guys see you in another session if you enjoyed watching this video do give it a thumbs up if you have any doubts do let us know in the comments below please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe simply code thank you